Hello, my name is Esa Ivonen. I'm a program manager in the Microsoft 365 platform and community areas. And in this video, we are gonna have a look on the one awesome announcement which we're finally making. We've been building this for a while. We've been having it soft launched for a while, but now the unified Microsoft 365 sample gallery is ready to go live as the first version. We will keep on involving at for sure, involving it for sure. Um, but already today, there's more than 1,000 samples available, and it works with the uh, filtering, works with the product level targeting, and all of those things. So let's have a look on what this is all about. Now, you can find the unified sample gallery from the adaption.microsoft.com. So this is a location where you can go and, and you can find a lot of the adaption tools and content and information available. And from here, if you go to solutions and sample solution gallery, that is a one way of finding uh, the unified Microsoft 365 unified sample gallery. Alternatively, you can use a simple AKMS link, which is AKMS M365 AKMS M365 slash samples, and that will actually redirect you to the exactly to the same location. Should be simple enough to remember as well. So, what the gallery is all about is that we are surfacing both Microsoft provided samples and community provided samples from GitHub. So rather than you trying to find the relevant sample for you uh, using the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of GitHub locations in multiple different organizations, we're aggregating all of that information and the samples in a one centralized location. And we're doing this for all of the new samples as well. And we're adding new organizations and sample repos to this location uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, which is great. So you'll see the overall number of samples to get increased uh, uh, constantly as we get more contributions and as we add on additional repos to be under this umbrella. Now, how does this work? Is that by default, uh, we are searching all of the samples and you can see that there's already 1000 samples, but that's really, really hard to find what's relevant for you. So you can, of course, uh, fill it down on a specific area of Microsoft 365. So as an example, our absolutely awesome API surface, Microsoft Graph, so you can target on only the samples which are specifically for Microsoft Graph. Uh, from here, you can find, for example, samples from Sebastian Levert, who is a program manager from the Microsoft Graph team uh, and has um, built uh, on the Microsoft Graph toolkit. So that's one way of uh, finding what's relevant for you. And of course, from a sample, details page, you'll find details related on uh, how to get started and also links to the GitHub. There's also, also download on GitHub, which is actually packaging the potential subfolder in a single repo as a zip file. So you don't have to uh, fork and download the whole GitHub organization because one organization could have a lot of, lot of samples in it. You can just download the specific sample. Alternatively, uh, you can, of course, use other search criteria on finding what's relevant for you. So now if we go back on the front page and I'm interested on, in, for example, finding a meeting app sample for Microsoft Teams, I can filter the selection on meeting team, meet Microsoft Teams and say here meeting and search, and that will then target uh, the requests on, only on meeting applications, which are for Microsoft Teams applications. So again, 10 cool samples available, partly from Microsoft, partly communi communi uh, contributed by the community, like it should be. So we're aggregating everything in a single location. So really cool thing. Now, what's really, really also cool here is that we have this persona or contributor based view on these samples as well. And what that means is that you can actually have a look on, for example, what are all of the samples what Marcus uh, Müller uh, from Avenade from Germany has provided. And we have this single view of the samples what he's providing and his GitHub data. So all of the data that we're seeing in here is directly surfaced from a GitHub behind of the Marcus Müller's GitHub profile in a GitHub and behind of the samples. So that's actually really, really cool. Um, and all of the these are also deep link. So basically, uh, individual contributor can use the same link to share all of the samples across the Microsoft 365 ecosystem, what they have contributed from a single location. Makes it super, super easy then uh, to find, for example, Chandani, who's a relatively new MVP from India, or what about other samples that she has actually shared with the community across the, all of the different areas where she's been working on, which is actually a lot. She's an absolutely brilliant uh, example of a super versatile and skillful uh, Microsoft 365 developer MVP. Now, that's a quick introduction on here. Uh, that should actually get you started and getting access on the 
on the samples. Um, if you're wondering how would I contribute, uh, all of these samples are either aggregated from the Microsoft organization or from the github.com slash BMP organization, which is our Microsoft 365 platform community organization. Um, that organization does exist so that we're differentiating what are the samples which are actually supported, samples and tooling which are actually supported by Microsoft and what is the community provided and community enabled uh, tooling and samples so that this clarity on uh, that uh, setting as well. But that's it for now. Hopefully you find this uh, gallery uh, useful and we will keep on investing here. We will keep on improving that. There's a lot of, lot of ideas how we can make this uh, even better. But please do join on our Microsoft 365 platform community course and give us feedback and input um, in any of the social media channels as well. Thank you for that. Cheers. Thank you.